ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ونعوذ بالله من النار وعذابها فيا اخوه الاسلام والايمان السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اوصيكم ونفسي المقصر بتقوى الله جل وعلا وبطاعه الله وطاعه رسوله ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اسال الله ان يجعلني من الفائزين اسال الله ان يجعلنا جميعا من الفائزين ويقول الرسول الحبيب صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه كل امتي يدخلون الجنه الا من ابى قيل وما يا ابا يا رسول الله قال من اطاعني دخل الجنه ومن عصاني فقد ابى او كما قال الرسول الحبيب صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه يا brothers and sisters in islam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh for all praise all credit all thanks due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our creator our sustainer our savior in the day of judgment may allah save us that day I be a witness there is no true god worth your worship except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I be a witness that muhammad ibn abdullah salawat rabbi wa salamu alayhi is the last and the final messenger from allah to mankind and to jinkai whoever obey muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and follow his sunnah and apply it will be guided and he will achieve success in this life and the hereafter and allah will admit him to jannah may allah make us among those people whoever refuses to do that Whoever mock the sunnah of the prophet disregard the teachings of the prophet he will be among the losers doesn't matter how intellectual you are doesn't matter how famous you are doesn't matter how knowledgeable you are is something allah said wa in tuti'uhu tahtadu you believers you muslim if you obey muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that being blind way obeying him you'll be guided may allah guide us to the right path So every day we pray for guidance Allah told us we have to find the guidance in the Quran and the sunnah of the prophet So first of all I will say taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum salih al-a'mal wa eid al-mubarak insha'Allah For Ramadan we ask Allah to accept our good deed in Ramadan We ask Allah to give us the taqwa we look for in Ramadan We ask Allah to answer all our good duas in Ramadan We ask Allah to forgive us all the shortcomings and the sins and the mistakes in Ramadan. Now you as a Muslim you shouldn't be happy Ramadan is gone. You should be happy Allah give you the ability and the power to pass from a bad. That you should be happy about. That Allah guided you to Islam and Allah give you give you one life and bless you to witness Ramadan. and to fast Ramadan complete and to worship Allah properly in Ramadan that you have to thank Allah and most of us don't do that we know that even the people when we enter paradise may Allah make us the people of paradise jannah what they say alhamdulillah alladhi hadana bi hadha wa ma kunna linahtadi lawla wa fadha the people of paradise when Allah will pay them for their good deed for their iman they will thank Allah We thank Allah the one who guided us to this. Who give us the reason and the cause to worship him. The ability to worship him. If it's not by Allah's help, Allah's grace, we are not being guided. We won't be guided. 
So you as a Muslim, in these few days, thank Allah, Allah. Alhamdulillah. So the point in this ayah of Ramadan, he said, to For you to glorify Allah for what he guided you for. You all should say, Alhamdulillah, illahi hadana lihada, wa ma kunna linahjadiyah, lawla ala Allah. After that, the second thing you do, after you praise Allah, thank him, do it physically. You have to sit and say, Allah, I thank you for making me a Muslim, for giving me the chance and the ability to fast from Allah. All is by Allah, not by you. Don't say, I did it. Thank Allah who gave you the power, the ability, the iman, and the strength to do it. The second thing, ask Allah to accept it from you. This, as the Salaf used to say, they used to ask Allah, six months, Allah bless us with Ramadan. Bless us the long life to witness Ramadan. After that six, they will ask Allah, Allah accept for us what we did in Ramadan. Because we as a Muslim, that should be our big worry. Whenever you do, do good thing, ask Allah for a few moments, for a few days, Allah accept that from you. Because Allah accept only good deed from the muttaqin. In the So that means if he accept it, you are one of the muttaqin. So you as a Muslim, don't say Ramadan is done. Every time you make sense, Allah muttaqabbal me, Allah muttaqabbal me, Allah accept from me the Ramadan, accept from me the Ramadan. Accept for me the good thing. You taught them, ask Allah to make your heart steadfast. Steadfast on the religion. Who is the most guided human being? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who is the most pure heart? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah get the guarantee for you. Boy, he used all the time to say what? Allahumma ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deen. Imagine that. If the Prophet will ask Allah, Oh Allah, you the one who turn hearts. Today you pious, tomorrow no. Today you like good, tomorrow you not like it. This hour, you good. After a few hours, you want just to do bad things. Oh Allah, make my heart steadfast on this religion. If the Prophet ask him that dua from Allah, Allah purify his heart. And it was clean physically. Our prophet angels came and cleaned his heart physically. And how about me and uh, you and I? So ask Allah everything, the third thing you do. Ask Allah every day. Ya Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deen. Allah, make my heart steadfast in this religion. Now you as a Muslim, if you worship Allah in Ramadan properly, you pray your five prayers on time, you fasted the whole day, you went to the massage, and you pray at night, it proves to you that if you take the will, if you will to worship Allah, if you want to worship Allah, you can. Now say after Ramadan, no more night prayers. No more Quran. What you say? That you're not thankful for Allah. That you worship Allah only in one month because everyone is doing it. After that, you forgot Allah. And Allah don't like those people. And Allah even told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam how to worship Allah to which point. Say, that's the point as a Muslim where you can say, okay, now it's done. Allah said to the Prophet and for every Muslim, to every Muslim, to the end of days, God glorify your Lord, purify his name, and praise your Lord all the time. Subhanallah wa Subhanallah wa Say it as much as you can. وَكُمْ sajideen Be among the people who prostrate themselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People who pray for Allah. And we know after the mandatory prayer, there is no prayer equal to the night prayer. 
And he said, Wa abud rabbaka hatta yatiyakal yaqeen. That's the point. Worship Allah to the point you are surely dead. That show the certainty of death is on you. That's the point you will say, okay, right now I cannot. Now how most, most of us, some of us, we pray at night of Ramadan as much as we can. It didn't kill us. It didn't destroy our life. It didn't make us lose our jobs. And Alhamdulillah, we get a lot of food, a lot of food, a lot of help, a lot of friendship, a lot of friend, a brotherhood. After Ramadan, it's done. No more night prayer. Because it's the first worship we as Muslims, we abandon after Ramadan. Praying at night. And praying at night is one of the fastest ways you go closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And praying at night is one of the action one of the act of worship which Allah said it has no limit for the reward. Those people who will leave their bed at night and stand worshiping Allah, crying to Allah, praying to Allah, and spend whatever they have. Allah said, no soul, nobody, no, the limit of the reward they will receive. No. Now you as a Muslim ask yourself. Ramadan may be only one day or two days. Since that time, how many rakats you make beyond? How many rakats? How many? You wake up at night, say, Allah, I used to pray pray beyond. One hour, ten rakats, eight rakats. Today I cannot do for you even a one. <coughs> Did you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Would you say, I'm grateful to Allah? No. So ask yourself that. Simple questions. I'm a Muslim in Ramadan only, or I'm a Muslim forever, as long as I'm alive. Because Allah told you, you have to worship Him till you die, to the point, last breath. That's the moment you have an excuse not to worship. Because He's there. Now, how many rakats we used to pray? Yeah. Some of us used to pray for a week, go, come back, pray yeah. At least you have 16 or 20 records. After Ramadan, you call it. What is the sign? Because the scholars say, if you want to know the sign that Allah accepted your Ramadan, if you follow it up with a good deed. Well, if it's Ramadan end, all the good deed ends there. Coming to the masjid for the patriarchs and there. Touching the Quran ends there. Feeding people ends there. Praying at night ends there. They say, check, your Ramadan has faults. And we ask Allah to purify our Ramadan. We ask him to make us have the proper and correct Ramadan. So what do you do as a Muslim after Ramadan? One, you ask Allah help. Ask Allah, Allah, I started good deed, good habits in Ramadan. Help me continue. Help me. Ask Allah help. Our Prophet used to say, Allahumma a'inni ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibarika. Imagine, the Prophet, who know the best how to worship Allah. He used to say, Allah help me, help me. Help me to remember you. Help me to thank you. Help me to worship you properly. The Prophet used to say that. To the point he tell the, uh, one of the companions, every time you pray, do that as a prayer for you too. Say this to Allah. Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. So the first thing you do as a Muslim after Ramadan, anytime you got a chance, every time you make sujood, Allah help me to worship you. Help me to continue good, good, good deed. Two, you strive. You have to know the way you know in Ramadan, you leave your job rushing for iftar at the masjid. You leave your home rushing for taraweh. You leave your home rushing for qiyamul layl. Try to have that energy and mentality. It won't be easy. None of us will be 100% as we were in Ramadan. No. 
But Allah didn't ask us to be perfect. He said, Fattakullah mastata'ata. Do the best you can. The best you can. That's what he asked you. And you be steadfast in this religion. As Allah said, Ul aman, as the Prophet said, Ul aman to billah was taqim. All the time. Say, Allah, I believe in you. I'm a Muslim. I accept your religion. I follow your Prophet. And stay steadfast on that. And you have to know that the Prophet sallallahu told us about these things. To the point he warns his companions about starting a good deed, a good worship, and living it. One of the great companions who used to worship a lot, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As. Abdullah ibn Amr. The Prophet said, Abdullah, la takun misla fulan. Kana yaqoomu al-layl, fa taraka qiyamah. Ya Abdullah, la takun misla fulan. Kana yaqoomu al-layl, fa taraka qiyamah. Now, this fit us all right now. He said, Abdullah, don't be like such and such. They used to pray at night, then they abandoned. They used to pray at night, as we did in Ramadan. We prayed Taraweeh for an hour, prayed Qiyam Lai for an hour, then they abandoned it. After Ramadan, even the witch is hard to get. The Prophet said, don't be like those people. Because it's a sign of being ungrateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you as a Muslim, ask yourself. Allah didn't say you have to pray the same 20 rakas, the same 10 rakas, the same... Et no. As Imam Ahmed used to say, اجعل لنفسك مدمارا سبقا تبدع من ثم تنطلق وثم تعود إليه. Imam Ahmed, when they ask him how a human being can do his best of Ramadan, he says, set a standard for yourself of all type of worship, set a standard and make it the bare minimum and start from there, take off from there and go forward whenever you meet, you find yourself tired, little lazy, come to the same standard but not below, there again, start. For example, let's say you used to pray the Amulai, 11 rakats. Start with two, add your little. Start with two, make it the, the minimum. Every day in your life, if you are alive, tired, not tired, even sick, if you have to sit on your bed, go do store cards, you will pray it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you add your little. Just two, put a little, that's three. If you know you cannot wake up early in the morning, pray them before you go to bed. That's the minimum, minimum. Two rakat for Allah's sake. Just you and Allah. Make them slow motion as you can. Add the witch to make it third and go to bed. Say Allah, as long as I'm breathing, I used to pray 20, but now I cannot. But these three, I will never miss them. If you cannot wake up early in the morning, pray them before you go to bed. Doesn't matter how you tired you come. If you cannot stand, sit on your chair. Allah said. But pray them before you lay your head on the bed. That if you didn't wake up, you, you, you fulfill your promise. That's why Imam Ahmed set a standard, minimum. And the a minimum of standard. Take off from there. Go. The day you have, you're active. You have, you're off from work. You're happy. Pray the 20 you used to pray. Pray the 11 you used to pray. Pray the 13 you used to pray. Pray the 8 you used to pray. The day you're tired, sick, worried, try your two and the victory. That's it. If you can't wake up early in the morning, don't say, okay, I will wake up. No. The day you're tired, you come back, pray them after your Isha before you go to bed. And Allah will reward you for it immensely. Because as the Prophet said, Inna habbal a'mali ila Allah adwamuha wa in qal. Habbal a'mali ila Allah adwamuha wa in qal. The most pleasant actions, be good deed to Allah, which come from us, is the one who, which are continuous, are regularly performed. Those are the most pleasant to Allah, most beloved to Allah. The Prophet said, even if it's little, 
As little as two rakat. As little as four rakat plus the little. Two rakat from four plus the little. As little as that. The Prophet said, Allah allowed those type of action. That means you didn't forget him. You are grateful that you are Muslim. But if you used to pray 10, 20, Taraweeh and Qiyam, after Ramadan, even the with even two plus one, you cannot get it. Or you pray them all of them in one minute. When Allah will ask you about his favors, what you will say? You cannot answer. So we shouldn't be as the people who the prophet warns. Don't you don't be like people who used to pray at night, then they abandon it after. Most of us will start with that. We said start with the being set up, set a principle. Just stand them. Say Allah, I use I fast in whole Ramadan. I will try fast every week one day. Or every week two days. If that's too much, every month, three days. If that's too much, every month, one single day, I will fast on that way. Thanking you. Because you give me the ability and the strength and iman to fast a whole month. So you as a Muslim, you should be thankful. As the prophet, when they ask him, why you pray at night till your feet get swollen? Till your feet get cracked. Why you do that? He said, Afala akuna abdan shakura. You don't want me to be a grateful servant to Allah. So we all should be grateful servants to Allah. The good deed we started in Ramadan, we, start, we should set a minimum standard for every type of worship we did in Ramadan to perform the minimum. So may Allah make it easier for us. May Allah give us the iman to continue worshiping Allah in all 11 months, inshallah. And perform the night prayers, read Quran, give charity, come to the masjid. وأقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا الله وغفروا الله الحمد لله رب العالمين ربنا لك الحمد حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ويا إخوة الإسلام والإيمان أكثروا من الصلاة والسلام على الحبيب المصطفى في هذا اليوم العظيم فإن الله وملائكته يصلون عليه فقد أمرنا بالصلاة عليه ويقول الرسول صلى الله ربي وسلامه عليه من صلى علي صلاة واحدة صلى الله عليه بها عشرة اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. As we say that again, we're talking about a Muslim after Ramadan. You as a Muslim, Allah bless you to finish Ramadan. Thank Him for that. We ask Allah to accept our Ramadan. Say this dua all the time. Allah accept my Ramadan. Accept my Ramadan, accept my Laratul Qat for the coming months. Again, ask Allah to guide you, to help you continue the good deed. Ask Allah to give you steadfastness in this religion. You say the best thing will help you, asking Allah, strive him. You don't sit, say, Allah help me. Allah say, Walladina jahadu fina, the people who strive toward us. Strive but in our ways, those are the people who will be guided. May Allah guide us all. And the first thing you start is the five prayers on time. Five prayers on time. Five prayers on time. Not when you are free, on time. And do your best if Allah bless you with any type of mean of transportation to do them in the masjid. If you cannot do five, try at least three or two. Especially if Allah puts you near the masjid or your way to home is the way the masjid. Wallahi, the Prophet told us a prayer with the Jama is more than 27 fold for the prayer with one person. Imagine if you pray by yourself and you come to the Jama, you pray, the prayer you pray in the Jama is more valuable, more rewardable than 27 fold. If Allah will pay you 10 for the prayer by yourself, you have 200, uh, 270 for the prayer in the Jama. Imagine that. So don't abandon the masjid. The masjid is the house of Allah. You are the guest of Allah. You need Allah. You come to the masjid, you ask him, he will know you are a person who has Iman. Inna ma ya'mul masajid Allah, man amana billah. 
people who revive the houses of Allah, take care of the houses of Allah, perform their prayers in the houses of Allah, gather in the houses of Allah, those are the people who believe in Allah. May Allah make us among those people. And feeding the people, sharing your food, it's not only Ramadan. One of the best acts in our religion is giving food to the poor, helping other people have their lunches and their dinners. And we have a lot of new brothers who came. If you know some of them, sometimes, I don't say every day, every week, buy your food and take it to them. The people who enter hell, when they ask them, why you Allah put you in hell? Why you go to hell? In the day of judgment, when you see a person who you used to run with, who used to tell you, oh, you like to worship too much, you, you are too Muslims, man, that's enough. When you see him in hell, may Allah protect us. You ask them, why you are in there, Saka? They will say, because, you know, we're not used to pray, and we're not used to feed the poor. Imagine that. That means you as a Muslim eat until you trash your food while you know a Muslim brother who needs it. The whole month after Ramadan, you don't give even a plate. You can bring it to the masjid. You can ask the imams if there are anyone who needs food. Because it will save you in the day of judgment. May Allah make us understand this religion. We thank Allah for making us Muslims. The unity we have in Ramadan, may Allah continue this. The friendship and the brotherhood we showed in Ramadan, may Allah help us continue it. Because it's something rare. In Ramadan, you have a date to, you want to give it to some Muslim. That's the soul of Islam. So don't abandon it after Ramadan. Share what you have with your fellow Muslim brothers. Give them what you have. It will help you in a day which no money will help you, no friend will help you. Only your good deeds. May Allah accept our Ramadan. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta istamiya wa alim. Rabbana taqabbal minna suyama wa al-qiyam. Wa taqabbal minna salih al-a'mal. Allahumma a'id alayna Ramadan. Sanawatina adida madida bi rahmatika ya rahman rahimin. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fi al-akhirati hasana. Wa qina adab al-nar. Allahumma a'in ikhwanana fi Palestine wa fi Gaza wa fi Yemen wa fi Afriqiya wa fi jami'an hal alam ya Rabb. Allahumma a'inhum wa la tu'in alayhim. اللهم انصرهم ولا تنصر عليهم اللهم انصرهم ولا تنصر عليهم اللهم انكر لهم ولا تنكر عليهم اللهم انكر لهم ولا تنكر عليهم اللهم آثرهم ولا تؤثر عليهم اللهم آثرهم ولا تؤثر عليهم يا رب العالمين اللهم كن لهم ولا تكن عليهم اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم احفظ أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم احفظهم وردهم الى كتابك والى سنه نبيك ردا جميلا يا رب العالمين. اللهم اذل الشرك والمشركين. اللهم اذل الشرك والمشركين. اللهم دمر اليهود والصهاينه يا رب العالمين. اللهم زلزل الارض تحت اقدامهم يا رب العالمين. اللهم انزل عليهم عقابك يا رب العالمين فانهم لا يعجزونك يا رب العالمين. اللهم ارنا عليهم عجائب قدرتك يا رب العالمين. اللهم تبرهم تكبيرا يا رب العالمين. اللهم انصر اخواننا يا رب العالمين، اللهم اطعمهم من جوع وامنهم من خوف يا رب العالمين، اللهم رد الى ردهم الى اوطانهم سالمين غانمين، اللهم اغفر لنا واغفر لجميع موتى المسلمين، اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم ووسع مدخلهم واكرم نزلهم وادخلهم في صياد جنات، وصلى الله على نبينا محمد واله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا، واخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين. So please board us. You make it short because the rain of outside, the brothers don't have a place to stand. Please get tight, inshallah, close to one another, please. They are standing back there. This place over there is spoiled, please. And don't forget the masjid, the masjid need your help.